It's been 24 years. And you've been playing skeletal mages wrong. This entire time. <laughs> All right, check it out. I am wielding an infinity in a man catcher. Catching those men. And then I have Enigma. And I have run walk on this helmet with skills. More skills with this amulet. Mana and run walk and res with these boots that I crafted. A mage fist for faster cast. A ring, faster cast. A ring, more faster cast. A rack and mesh, more faster cast. We have 60% faster cast. Check it out. Not bad, right? The mages are maxed. Their skeleton mastery is maxed. We have a blood golem with 24,000 life. So he, we, he can leech some life for us. In our mercenary, I gave, I found this, so I replaced the black oak shield with the wall of, of the eyeless, just because it has faster cast on it, you know? So now he's at another break point, 70%. So he shoots a little faster with his crescent moon, his viper magi, and a couple junk fa facets in this faster cast tiara. Minus seven plus seven. Okay, so we also have inventory of skillers, torch and Annie. I pre-buffed with um, a couple more skills so that my uh, skeleton mastery was level 50 and my skeleton mages were 47 summoned 15 of them and we have all lightning damage all right charged bolt damage is coming out like crazy from 15 lightning only mages with our lightning iron wolf mercenary and we are just the logistics ex expert basically check it out now in the previous video i did not use corpse explosion okay to show that you don't have to but in this one if i do use it once in a while so be it like who cares does it really hurt anything for me to use a skill on a character once in a while i don't think so it's funny because Sometimes I'll do an off meta build and then I get criticized for it being not as good as insert your build that you think is better, right? But then I'll do an off meta build and I'll use something like say corpse explosion like on my pure fire necromancer and I'll get criticized for using corpse explosion. <laughs> it's like, okay, can't please everybody I guess, right? <laughs> I'm not allowed to use it, but if I don't use it, then my build's not good enough. Whatever. So anyway, I'll use it once in a while. Okay, is that fine? So check out all the lightning damage going everywhere. You've been playing Skeleton Mages wrong this whole time. All right? Now, D2R Dev, my friend, my pal, I know you watch the videos, and all you got to do, man, is make... See this skill list I have here of all these different skills, you know? Where it says, raise skeletal mage. Just make three more of these. Okay. And so that there's a total of four of them. But each one is its own element. So one will be poison. Which sucks. But sure. Another one will be cold. Another will be lightning. And another will be fire. And then bam. You can literally just choose what you want. And then you don't have to go through the tedium of reviving only the type you need. You know? Here, let's revive some of these guys, though. I do have points in to revive, so we'll grab a few of those. A Rao rune and an amulet. Let's identify the amulet. One to summoning skills for a necromancer. Don't really need that. So check it out. Dang. He just went down. You see that? So now, a couple things with the build that are unclear. I don't know if the minus enemy light res from the infinity actually applies to the mer to the mages. I have no idea. It's really kind of hard to tell, and I don't because of some changes to plus and minus skill damage for things like traps 
it's unclear to me if it works now for the mages. So I'm not really sure. Um, they'd be cool if it did. Um, and even if it doesn't, though, the build is, like, still kind of working <laughs> pretty good because we have stacked lower res and conviction. You know? Okay. So anyway, this is one of my newer off-meta builds on the channel here. I think it's pretty sweet. Um, I do have a, cold, a pure cold one and a pure fire one, as I mentioned. Similar kind of concept, you know? But different gear completely. Um, so you can check those out if you're interested. And I will be doing another cold one in the future, actually. Uh, because the cold one that I do showcase is during the holiday event. And so that kind of um, makes it not possible for you to recreate if you wanted to. So I'd like to do another one that doesn't involve one of the holiday event skills, you know. Here we go. Corp explosion to increase our clear speed a little bit. Let me revive some of these dudes so I can have a little bit more um, safety, you know, with some melee attackers like this. Damn, dude, he's gone. Now, we don't have Cannot Be Frozen, but I do have half freeze duration on something, I thought. Don't I? Did I change that out? Oh, I might have changed it out. Never mind. I don't have half freeze. That was a different setup I had. Wow, I wasn't even paying attention, and they killed them all. That's great. Is there a mana potion over here? I can't see one. Whatever. Let's go. Okay, let's see how they fare against these guys. And DeSace has got lower res and conviction on. And he died very quickly. It was like he wanted to just die. That's how quickly he died. Alright. Storm Maul. Look at Storm Maul. He didn't last very long. Alrighty. Yeah, so all these guys that are immune to lightning usually, the corpse explosion really helps with that, you know. It just gets us through them a little faster. Wow, these guys are really chasing me. Mmm, mana potion. And a rejuve. More mana potions. Yeah, I kind of do need mana potions with this build right now. I guess you could put on silk weaves or something. But I don't know if you get the mana per kill from from kills from revives and summons. I don't think you do. So you'd have to you'd have to get use it with corpse explosion basically. There you go. Yeah. Annihilation. It's five Honda. Here we go. Um, level five teeth charges on that guys. Huge. Massive. We need more level 5 teeth charges on items, I think. That's a joke, D2R dev. Don't actually do that. Okay, let's uh, tele-stomp him and see how they go. Oh, boy. Very nice. A unique saber for our trouble. Let's go back to town. Let's have Kane identify it. The skewer of... Krintis. Ignore target's defense at level 10. I like that. Pair that with maybe an inventory of level 10 elemental charms. Would be kind of good. Okay. Repair. And any good armors around here? 
Level 15, 26 life, 30 lightning rays. Okay. So that's him, again. You've been playing Skeletal Mages wrong. Alright. This way makes them a lot stronger. And my mercenary is stronger. And gets some use as a lightning mercenary, which people don't use at all either. Pretty cool if you ask me. Thanks for checking it out, bros. Goodbye.